Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Cardinals reaffirm Kyler Murray as their franchise quarterback ahead of 2024 free agency. There was speculation that the Cardinals might move on from Kyler and use their high first round draft pick on a quarterback this year. But they put that to bed today. They posted a photo of Kyler on their Twitter account saying, our franchise quarterback. The NFL had jokes because previously, or infamous, infamously, posted a po uh, 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 on their team's social media page. In 2019, they posted a picture of Josh Rosen saying, Josh is our guy. Um, do you like Arizona putting their faith in Kyler Murray? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Obviously, I think they were on the right track. I think Kyler Murray was on the right track. Um, barring injury, obviously, he, he got hurt. Um, listen, in 2023, he had 1799, 10 TDs, five interceptions. He only played eight games. He was three and five at the start. He's a two-time pro bowler, 2019 yeah. offensive rookie of the year. He just signed a multi-year contract, five-year, 230 million extension in 2022. They definitely letting him go right now. They definitely no. not let him go this early in his career. And we can see, I think what they need to do is put some pieces around him, though. Mm -hmm. They need to put some pieces around him. If you're serious about winning and he, if he is your franchise quarterback, you need to do due, to, due diligence, not just, to, not just to that fan base, but for Kyler Murray so he can be productive. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to get some better offense, some better line play to protect him. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's going to have to do a better job of protecting himself. Right. But a lot of times, excuse me, guys. A lot of times, quarterbacks that are mobile are the most sacked. Look at Randall Cunningham. Look at Cam Newton. Look at Mike Vick. Look at Lamar Jackson. Look at your right. quarterback. Because while they do possess an innate ability to get out of harm's way, right. a lot of times they run themselves into harm's way. Sorry, yeah. They escape something on the front side only to run themselves into trouble on the back on the side. Back side. Yep. And sometimes they, they put too much confidence in their ability. Mm -hmm. So that's not, that's not abnormal to have a quarterback as mobile as Kyler to get mm -hmm. sacked a lot because what we've right. seen, a lot of mobile quarterbacks are very, very high in sack total. Steve Young got sacked, got sacked a bunch. Right. But you gotta you gotta be able to uh, uh and I think you know you're right, Ocho. I mean, I think he missed what he missed the first eight games, nine, seven, eight games, right. uh, because he was coming off an ACL injury. Can he get back to what he once was? Yeah, uh, because his injury was a freak injury. He was scrambling mm -hmm. in an open field, non-contact, boom, knee gives yeah. out on him. Um, but he's a phenomenal talent. Um, but you just would need to make sure mm -hmm. that football is a priority because I don't care what anybody says, Ocho. You don't put that. He has to study X amount of hours away from the facility mm -hmm. if you believe. He's right. doing what he needs to do away from the facility. I, I think they shouldn't have put that in there because you already know in order to play at this level, in order to achieve greatness at this level, there's a certain amount of time you have to put in. Now, obviously, Kyler Murray being a gamer, similar to how I am, at times, even as a quarterback, regardless of position, regardless of the position that you play, there is a certain thing called me time. So what you choose to do in your downtime at home, as far as but Kyler Murray, he likes the game as I How do. great you want to be. So you're saying you can't be great and play and play video games? How great do you want to be? How much video games do you think Patrick Mahomes plays? How much video games do he you plays, think Tom he, Brady plays? He plays. He plays. He plays. He plays How much? The, for the, Ocho, for them to put that in his contract, you do realize when you pick up the iPad, hold on, when you pick up the iPad, yeah. you do know they can see how much tape you watch, right? Right, right. You right, didn't right, know right. that, did you? Yeah, I, of course, of course, I know that. But I'm saying, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's putting in the adequate. Clearly, work. clearly, they didn't think so, or they wouldn't have added that. If that was a, if you doing what you say, why you sign it? Well, listen, if you think he wasn't doing it, you wouldn't pay him the money you paid him. I, that's why I put that in his contract. <laughs> you see, I, I like there's in like your con that, that, guess, that, guess that, that, that for one, that's doing a little too much on their part. As well, no, it's not. I got to yeah. protect my investment. I want to make sure you're doing what you're supposed. Ocho, they're you're paying him for a reason. The reason you I, paid him is because you know he's good at what he does. Now, yeah, you have to, I want him to get better. Okay, all right. You, you're right. I got you. I got you. When you go work for any business, uh -huh. you don't think ESPN got a morality clause. You don't think these these companies have morale. I'm paying you X amount of dollars, and you think I'm gonna let you do whatever you want arbitrarily and not have my bases covered? Unk, we talk about playing video games at home in the comfort of your own home. Now. But I'm Come just on, saying man. there are certain parameters because I right. need protection. 
So in other words, I've got to put this in here because right. what I've noticed is that you're not studying enough, Ocho. You know what? You know what's funny is the fact that somebody, I'm not sure who it is. It was just fans that were they were able to track when he was online, and the fact that they're that they're saying, "Oh, look, Kyler Murray's online because they knew his gamer tag or whatever it might have been," and the fact that they keep posting it and posting it and posting it. That's the reason they put it in there because the NFL had no way of knowing if you're online gaming or not. Ocho, it ain't about the NFL. It's about the team. I mean, when the team. I'm up, sorry. I'm sorry. You, you know what I mean. I mean, ownership. Up, I mean, ownership. When you pick up that iPad, yeah. it can tell you how much film you watch for the week. And right. him being a quarterback, the, mm -hmm. the, the hours didn't match. Right, right, right. The hours don't match, Ocho. In order to... There's a price to be paid for greatness. Right. I, I understand. These guys want to pretend. Everybody says, I want to be great. But are you doing everything it takes to be great? You know what he you know what he had to do to even get to this point? I'm sure he knows what it takes to be Everybody great. Everybody huh? had to do something to get to this point, Ocho. It so is what one, it show it show one luck. It show no. one luck. Have you seen Kyler Murray play? Have you seen his his high school footage? Have you seen what he did when he was this healthy in the NFL? School. He's name good. the, pl I, 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 I name the player that wasn't good in high school. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I wasn't good in high school. <laughs> yeah, you were. Because you wouldn't have got a scholarship. You wouldn't have got a scholarship. No, no. matter what, it's the NAIA Division three, right, right, uh, right? Whatever the case may be, JUCO. Right. I think. I think to me, to me, honestly, honestly, at the quarterback position and understanding what it entails and 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 knowing what it takes for a quarterback to even insult him with that clause was a bunch of bullshit. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, that, that's how I feel. It was insulting. It was insulting and embarrassing. It was so it wasn't it wasn't insulting for him that the iPad was showing that he wouldn't put the hours. Why in. you keep saying the iPad? Ain't no, because I, I didn't because see no about that. Ocho, you ever notice how you be thinking of something and yeah. your phone and your phone to tell you what you're thinking about and you didn't say a word? Right. Yeah, you want you you ever wonder that? Like, well, damn, how they know what I was? I was just thinking that. I got oh, you. Oh, I how they know I was thinking that? I see where you're going. <laughs> Man, look here. And plus, I gotta, I gotta, Ocho, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah. You said, you said if you were to get married, let's just say you weren't with Rail, you gonna have a prenup. Why you put a prenup in there? Do you know what that woman had to get you do to propose to her? Mm -hmm. And now you don't trust her? Oh, huh. I like this. See, I like this game, Ocho, because I like to flip it back on you. Wait a minute. Do you know what that woman had to do to get Ocho to take her out, take her serious, and ask her hand in marriage? But now you want protections against yourself. Why? Well, no, it, 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 just just in case, just in case, because in the Bible, <laughs> listen, wait, let me finish. So you don't want the card just finish. in case. Me, huh? In the Bible, in the Bible, it said, "Protect thee self, for you for ye never knoweth." <laughs> no, you made that up. That's, <laughs> I that's, make it that's, up. That's, 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 oh, that's Ocho four twelve. No, 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 no. That's in the Bible. Pr protect thee self, for ye ever knoweth mm -hmm. what may happen. I'm yeah. telling you, it's in the Bible. I tell I so love what about the Cardinals? You, huh? So is, is that is that applicable to the Cardinals? It, it is, it is, but again, I still think it's insulting. That's something that you shouldn't that you shouldn't put that kind of language in a contract because what are you telling me? What what are you telling me as a player? What are you telling her when you get that prenup? What are you telling her? I like where you're going with this. <laughs> I, I like I like I like what you're doing. This is a good one. That's a good one. Hey. I like, hey, that's a good one. Hey, you, hey, you got me up against the wall right now, baby. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to fight, but I'm missing all the punches. <laughs> that's Man, a good one. But I think Kyler, you know, Johnny Manziel said Kyler Murray is the greatest high school Texas player in, in high school history. He says it's him. He didn't lose a game in high school. Right. He went, what, he went for like 40-something and oh, mm -hmm. He won three straight uh, championships. In yeah. Texas, biggest division at Allen, Texas. Yeah, he had over four thousand yards rushing with almost seventy touchdowns, uh, over ten thousand yard passing with one hundred and seventeen touchdowns. Yeah, and that's Texas, Ooh. and we know the guys that have come out of Texas. The ballers, they got some ballers <laughs> in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some ballers in Texas. And he said the greatest player. He didn't say quarterback. He said player, and we know from Earl Campbell to Eric Dickerson to mm -hmm. uh, uh, Matthew Stafford to Vy. To all mm -hmm. those guys, Nick Foles, Drew Brees, uh, Case Keenum, well, they didn't have some. They didn't have some boys come up out of them, right? They didn't have some boys come up out of them. They absolutely have. Uh, but I'm 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 happy. I, I just want Kyler to get healthy mm -hmm. 
And and but you know, Ocho, there are certain sacrifices. Even mm-hmm. you, as much as you like to play, there are right. certain things that you have to sacrifice to be oh, yeah. great at this game. Most definitely, most definitely. I, I mean, you got a lot of homeboys that want to go out. You like, bro, I can't do that tonight. I, I got to get this game taken. Right, I, I understand. I think your approach to the game is a, is a little different than most people's. You went to the extreme, you know. Um, I don't know you just by hearing your stories. You went to the extreme. For you me, you know, I and mean, you don't know much about me, but when I played Unk, man, I practiced. Though I, I was, I was, it was something wrong with me. I took all the goddamn reps. I took scout team. I ran down on special teams. I was embedded. But once I left that facility, once I left that facility, Unk, that was me time. That was me time, and my me time was spent playing FIFA. My me time was spent playing Madden to reset and get a mental reset to get away from the game of football until the next day, boom, then I'm locked back in. I so reset I think, in off I season. I, I, huh? I reset in off season. Nah, see, nah, you you two, again, and you live, you live your life like this as well right now. Mm-hmm. You work, 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 work. You have no break. You have, you mm-hmm. can't live your life like that. It, it's work for you because you've done it for so long. Mm-hmm. But for the younger kids and the younger generation, <laughs> that might not be good. It might not be good. It, it's it's great to love and play the game at the highest level. But at some point, you got to have a little balance. You got to have a little balance. And at times, you can be great and have that balance as well. I don't believe you can have balance to greatness. You think Michael Jordan had balance? Yes. You think Serena would? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. What what was what was what was one of the one things that Michael Jordan loved to do outside of basketball? Matter, matter of fact, he even did it during the season. What's the one thing he loves Gamble. to do? Bingo. Kyler Murray loves, loves to play video games like I do. Many. Well, matter of fact, whoa, whoa, honest, you know, you know, listen, I know we're talking about Kyler Murray, but yeah. we talk about 95% of the NFL. All of them young bulls play video games. All of you know, them. You, you know why? There's only a handful of teams that win. Think about the teams that win. That had nothing to do with it. They had they had the, come on now. Come on. So you're saying if they put a video game get game down, all of a sudden they're gonna win? No. I'm no. just saying. There's, oh. a, there's a reason why there have only been a handful of truly, truly great quarterbacks. And I keep asking you about oh, Peyton. Oh, come on I'm, now. Hold on. I'm just asking you. I'm asking you about Peyton. I'm asking you about Brady. Take the great quarterback. Okay, let's just take now in the in the social media era. Yes, sir. Let's take Patrick Holmes. How much video games do you think he played? He plays them. Uh, you I'm want just me to tell you? Because I, I play against him. You want me to tell you what he plays? He plays Call of Duty. Okay. How much you think? How much you think the Peyton and Brady played? How uh, much you think Breeze played? I don't know. Maybe that's not their thing. So what's their thing? Let's talk about the makeup of the. Let's talk about the makeup of the team these quarterbacks were surrounded with. They were surrounded with greatness as well. So let me ask you a question. Them propel themselves. It's not because let, they weren't playing video games. Let me ask let's you a question. Let's understand why they were great. They were great in their own right with a superior supporting cast around them. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. If I took Patrick Mahomes and put him on Baltimore, how good do you think they would be? Holy shit. Why you say that? Because he's a Lamar had that team. You told me you told me the Baltimore Ravens, top to bottom, had the best roster in football. So why are you saying holy shit? Because I mean it, holy poop. I mean, it, it would be it would be it'd be nice. You take Lamar Jackson and put him in the Chiefs, you get the same thing. But go ahead. You, are you serious? Yeah, what's, ain't nothing wrong with Lamar. Lamar is dynamic. La, La, Lamar is dynamic in his so own you, right. Obviously so, you would so have to, if wait, I put wait, if, wait, if wait. I put Lamar, if I put Lamar on Kansas City, they win in the Super Bowl. Yeah, offensively, it would be a, a different offensive dynamic. It would be a different offensive dynamic. You have a great defense. You still got Spags. You got Andy Reid. Who knows? Listen, listen, stay with me now. Lamar Jackson and Todd Munkin had a great year to, together. Yes. Can you imagine Lamar Jackson and motherfucking Andy Reid? Boy, picture that. You talk about Picasso. You thought Picasso was creative in what he did? Now imagine goddamn Andy Reid and Lamar Jackson. Come on so now. So you said it's not Patrick Mahomes, it's Andy Reid. No, I'm saying, no, no, because he's great. He would be great. Where There are 32 teams. There are 31 other teams outside of the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes can go on the other 31, two team, 31 teams, and he will be a difference maker because of who he is, because of the skill set that he has. Is he better Is he better in Cincinnati's offense than Joe Burrow? Because that's the question. When, you, when, I, when, when I pose these questions to you, right. I'm asking you, are they better or worse? So if I take if I take Lamar and put right. him in Cincinnati. But then, you know what? Look, you, you put him in Cincinnati, the offense has to change completely based on the type of quarterback we have. Everything changes. So we don't know. It's a hypothetical. But again, there's a certain type of offense that Lamar runs and a certain type of offense that Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow runs. It's completely yeah. different. 
based on the style of quarterback we're talking about. You know that. So if I, be, I again, if, again, I like it. I like the dynamic because you're naming the cream of the crop when it comes to NFL quarterbacks. But, but their, I'm style, asking, their styles of play are different, and it's all but, on preference and based on who you like. But that's my point. Yes, sir. I'm saying cream of the crop in right. the preparation that it takes to become cream of the crop. Yeah. I believe in order to become that, you right. have to do what others won't or can't. And sometimes right. you got to do both. Right. Okay. I got you. So okay. Brady didn't have the God-given ability. Manning didn't have the God-given ability, right. say a Lamar or yeah. a Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. But what they had to do was this. Here. I had to outthink you. Yeah. I had to know what you were going to do before, before you, you actually did it. Did it. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't because I can't run away from anybody. I yeah. ain't getting away from nobody. Right. Them guys gonna chase me down every time. Right. That's why I can play two man against Peyton. That's why I can play two man against Brady. Where right. they going? No okay, way. they might scramble and get eight yards, but they're not gonna hit the head on the goalpost like you do with Lamar right. or like they would with Josh Allen. Patrick Mahomes gonna get you 25-30 yeah. because we've seen him do it, take off running. Mm -hmm. And so that's all I'm saying. I just believe for me right. that in order to be great. You're going to have to do things that others are not doing. And you're going to have to sacrifice. Did I want to do certain things? Yes. But for me, studying that game tape at home, so I knew. So when I saw it, oh, yeah. oh, man, I remember watching this thing Wednesday night. Here come that. But yeah, they line up in this coming. formation. It's mm -hmm. coming. They finna run this call, this cross right. book. Right. And lo and behold, nothing made me feel better. Then when I studied, so, look, watching it with the team is one thing. No, no, but no, when no. I can find it on my own, I don't like watching. I don't like watching with the team. I like man when I can when I can find it on my own, Ocho. Yeah, yeah, man. So we we on the same page with that. I I love studying tape. Let's um, let's think about this real quick, right? Yeah. People get caught up in the flamboyant stuff I did, the antics, the trash talking, the bulletin board material that I purposely put out every week for a decade, maybe eleven years straight on Wednesdays, right? Yeah. Do you understand the type of studying I had to do to be able to talk trash and say the things I said before we even played game day? Yeah, for sure. Think about it. I mean, people people don't see that side of it. So I, the only reason I'm arguing back and forth is because I understand the time and studying that I had to do to be on point, to be able to talk and be able to go out there and walk it. So I, I, I understand what you're saying a little bit, but then I'm just thinking about, I'm, I'm taking it back to myself, not putting myself in the quarterback position, but I understood I had to have that mental reset to be able to... Once I'm away from work, boom, I got to decompress. I got to reset mentally. I need this gaming to be my outlet and my peace of mind away from the game. Next morning, 6 a.m., boom, I'm, ba I'm back at it and I'm locked in. But again, here's what, to, to, here's to, to what your Patrick, point, you probably are right, though. Here's what Patrick Mahomes said in, about playing Call of Duty in 2019. Many NFL players bring their game consoles with them on the road during the season. Mahomes mm -hmm. says, not him. I try to make sure I can focus on the game plan the night before the game. During the season, I try to have my set schedules. I do get like two hours in a week on Monday or Friday to kind of blow some steam. But the off season is really when I get my grind and play the three to four hours at a time. Now you heard what is? I'm just saying what he said. We can hey, move on. Uh, ain't no sense. Uh, ain't no sense in us how belaboring many, how anymore. Many times you said something purposely, knowing that I you just said what, he said he plays I know, Monday. Listen, I huh? said I said a lot of things too to the media. Because I, I I have to. I'm the quarterback. I'm the face of the franchise. I have to say all the right things. Because you that's do what you realize, have to do. like you said, you do realize, like that person that's tracking uh, Taylor Swift jet. Right. You know people can track this, right? Oh, they they don't they don't, they don't know Mahomes' uh, game attack. They don't know game attack. It's not I'm public. I'm sure they do. See, no, I'm, I'm, sure I'm, do. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you they don't because I'd be on with him. Okay.